So we're looking at the MLR results for uh, deterrence theory with two predictors and the dependent variable of compliance with the law. Uh, we decided that the maximum Halonobis's distance was not greater than the critical value, uh, but let's have a look at what we would do if, say, this was 16.85 and there was at least one multivariate outlier. Well, what we would do is go back to the data file, and you'll notice that there are two new columns here, Mahalanobis's distance and Cook's distance, calculated for each variable. Now, if we right-click uh, on Mahalanobis's distance and sort it in descending order, we now get the most unusual case up the top, and we can look to see what uh, values it has for each of the variables in the analysis. So in this case this individual is moderately compliant. Uh, this is uh, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10. Moderately compliant with the law. They're pretty certain that they won't get caught but they think if they do get caught that the consequences will be fairly severe. So that's a somewhat unusual combination because normally uh, these are expected to be positively correlated, so when one's high, the other one tends to be high. Um, but it's not so severe that we would be concerned about it. If there were multivariate outliers that were above the critical value, then what you might do is highlight them, delete them from this file, and then rerun the analysis, and then check to see whether the R squared is particularly different or whether the uh, predictors, the, the regression coefficients are different. If they are different, then you need to decide which solution do you present, the one with or without outliers, uh, or if you still can't decide, perhaps you present both. And if they're similar, then you may as well report the um, results with these cases included. Okay, let's go back to the results then, and the final thing for us to look at are the results for the, the distribution of the residuals. We can see here a histogram of the residuals, and it's approximately normal. You can see at some points it's above the normal distribution, and in some cases below. This is a detrended um, plot, so if the data is normally distributed for the residuals, it should lie fairly tightly along that uh, diagonal line, which it does, and this is another version in which we would expect to see no particular pattern between the um, predicted and, and uh, residual values.